What's up, YouTube? I just wanted to show you guys real quick this cool contraption I just made. This is an old beater bike that I actually found in a dumpster. So it was going to the in the trash because it's all rusty and it's not really good to be used as a bike anymore. But I figured I would use it to convert uh, human power into electrical power. So I took the rubber wheel off of this back rim and I ran a belt to this three-phase hub motor. It's a 250 watt motor from a scooter that I've kind of changed a little bit to make it into a generator. I've added a full bridge three-phase rectifier using six diodes that I took out of a projector uh, to get a steady DC current from this three-phase alternating current motor. I uh, added this little idler pulley here to give it more uh, ability to, you know, because if, it, if it's not tight enough, if the belt's not tight enough, then the belt uh, will slip when you're actually pushing current through the wires because there's this, a lot of resistance inside that motor, the more current. So if I like short circuited out the motor right now by taking this multimeter and putting it on the amperage setting, so now the multimeter is measuring the amperage. And if I try to, so it's basically short circuited the positive and negative. And now uh, if I try to push it, it takes every ounce of strength that I've got just to get a couple amps. Ah. So you can really see the difference in the electro uh, EMF resistance when you're trying to push power through a generator. You really need a lot of force. Oh, that's why gasoline engines, you know, they have the most power per unit of fuel and they could turn this thing easily. But again, you need a lot of torque to be able to rotate that motor without the belt slipping. So maybe I need a bigger belt. Maybe I need more friction on these mating surfaces. Uh, the idler pulley definitely helped a lot. Maybe I need a, some kind of tensioner pulley. You know, that's something you would use in a car. Uh, but let me put this back on the volt setting. I'll give you guys a quick overview of the systems. So there's the generator with the three-phase rectifier with the diodes right there. Uh, Idler play a double frame just one piece at a time. I started with the back. I was like, I need something to support the back wheels. Something to support the front fork. Kind of chiseled out some little grooves and screwed the front fork into this platform to get it level. Needed something to connect the front and the back and something to put the motor on. And then some sway uh, reduction, sway support, sway bar. And I was just, you know, I kept on testing it, looking at where the forces uh, were, you know, the forces that I needed to reduce to make this thing solid. Every time I tested it, there was another force that I noticed another place that I saw there was vibration or movement that was, you know, beyond the, beyond the nice uh, level. So, uh, yeah, I'll give it a quick, give it a quick test. See that? Yes. So this is volts being produced right here. So you'd want to connect this to like a car battery to store all the power that you're producing. But 
but uh, really a human being can only produce about 80 to 100 watts per hour, which is enough to you know, charge phones, charge a laptop maybe. I was charging a drill battery earlier. Um, you could run a light bulb for an hour, you know, if you didn't have if you were able to cycle at a very precise speed, really you need a battery between the generator and the light bulb to uh, store, you know, like a capacitor to store the current so that when you were pedaling slower or faster, it's still outputting the same amount of voltage. So you don't have a light bulb that's just flickering on <laughs> the whole time you're pedaling. Anyways, I thought you guys might enjoy that. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of it. I don't even I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing now that I built it. I don't really have anywhere to put it. But maybe I'll give it to a classroom or something. I think it's a cool way to learn, you know, how power is generated, how much force it takes to generate electricity. Um, yeah. I mean this is on a grand scale, this is how all of our electricity is generated with generators like this with just steam turning a, a turbine to rotate a very large three-phase generator so it's worth knowing you know where the power that runs your home comes from and learning about how it all works all right well uh hit subscribe if you like this video and uh leave a comment below if uh you have any questions or you're just interested in this kind of stuff or you have any tips for how to make this even better uh, i'd love to hear it all right see you guys later